Hello, Professor Matthew Rotella here, and uh, I'm going to uh, UV unwrap the teapot that I made in a previous video. Uh, this isn't necessarily going to be a uh, tutorial per se, uh, which is partially because there are a lot of different ways to UV unwrap this, and it's not, uh, and there's no like singular, like correct way to UV unwrap any of these shapes, and so. Uh, I might not do this the best way, and I'm kind of winging it here, uh, but basically I wasn't going to record any sort of tutorial for this, uh, but then I need to UV unwrap it anyway uh, to do, uh, to make a different thing that I want to make and record, so I figured I might as well record myself UV unwrapping it. Uh, since the previous video, I, uh, I did some cleanup with various things, added edge loops to pieces, I have uh, screws uh, complete with threading at uh, different parts of my model, wherever they ought be, and uh, they're flat bottom screws because I don't think they would have uh, pointed screws anywhere in here. I never took the screws out of my teapot when I made this because I didn't want to mess anything up with my, uh, well, with my teapot. So. Uh, yeah, uh, that being said, I'm just gonna, like, kind of tear into this and, uh, see what I get as far as, uh, UV unwrapping everything. Well, let's see, first I'll just hide everything that isn't the pot, because I might as well start with the pot. Uh, same methodology that I tend to employ with other things, which is I usually like to start just fresh which uh, like these certainly aren't the UVs that I want and what I'm gonna do is I don't want any seams anywhere so I'm just gonna project from the x-axis and just get my whole pot here I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut all of my seams first before I properly start unfolding anything. So, let me see. I'm gonna cut here at the base of this metal, because that's a logical place to put a seam. So, cut that. And uh, yeah, I, I did my like rule of three edges everywhere on my model and cleaned up certain pieces and all that, and you know what, I'll just have this entire part of it as a separate shell. And then I'm definitely going to want to separate out this part of the pot here, which maybe I'll cut this seam because this is definitely less likely to get seen. So I'll place the seam there for the spout. And this is also a metal rim where there's a color change. So I'll cut a seam here. And this spout isn't going to deform, <coughs> isn't going to unfold very nicely if it's still connected to the pot. So I'm going to cut that. And then let's see, on the Inside, I'm going to cut the seam running vertically, and uh, because it's harder to see this top edge than it is to see uh, than it is to see the bottom edge where on the outside of the spout I'm going to cut the bottom edge because it's harder to see it than the top and all alrighty then and then I suppose uh, okay trying to decide where I want to 
I suppose for the rim though, I'm gonna have to continue this seam all the way through and around. Otherwise, this isn't going to work properly. Press the F key here. Let's see what we get. Again, I might change some of this later. This isn't necessarily the best way to UV unwrap all these things, but it makes sense in the moment at least. So I'm just feeling things out. Okay. And let's see, I'm gonna need to place a seam somewhere along the bottom here. I think I'll do it here, basically at the base of this transition. Cut that, and we're going to do the same thing on the outside, where I think I want to cut the seam here. All right, now I'm ready to start unfolding everything, now that I have all my shells. So here, probably the best place to put the seam Actually, yeah, I want to place this one manually. Probably the best place to put the seam would be here underneath the spout. It's not exactly hidden, but I think it's the closest I'm going to come to properly hiding this seam. So I'll work with it. Anyway, UV shell. So I got this guy. Uh, let me just try unfold along in U. And how's that look? Oh, I've got some stretching, so let's try and pull along in V. And that looks. Oh, I still got a good amount of stretching up there. Uh, which, if I just hit unfold in general, then I get. Kind of that sort of weirdness. But I think what I'll do, let's turn this off. I'm gonna try and keep the bottom of my shell straight. So what I'll do is I'll, or actually, the easiest way to select this would probably be to get this bottom row of UVs by clicking and then shift double clicking to the other end. And then I will hold down shift, and then if I marquee the entire thing, it will inverse my selection. And then I'll just hit unfold on everything that isn't the bottom. And then I'll at least keep my bottom straight, and that's much better. That looks good. I'll keep that. That looks functional to me. And... Uh, normalize it and I'll just leave it floating up there for now okay so this shell I'm definitely gonna want to reproject that uh, planner Y project unfold Let's see what that looks like of course that's gonna give me a little bit of weirdness around the edges but I think that's good I think that is what I want same thing for the inside, apply, and then unfold here on this inner shell. I don't think, well, let's see, I didn't cut a seam yet. There would be a good place for a seam. I don't think it really matters, is kind of the answer. Uh, maybe not at the spout, because that's actually... Hmm. I don't know. I'll just cylindrical unwrap this and perhaps call it a day. To some extent, anyway. Let's see, cylindrical unwrap. That gets me this, and then... 
I'll unfold along you. And that gets me that. Let's normalize this. What am I dealing with on the inside there? Yeah, that doesn't look very good. So I think similar thing to the outside. Or I'll try and keep the bottom reasonably flat. And then select everything else and I'll hit unfold. That gives me this and that looks better. Not the best I've seen, but good enough. And especially because I'm not too worried about the inside. I don't know how much I would actually be seeing into there typically anyway. All right. So this shell up here, I definitely want to do UV cylindrical, get this sort of deal, unfold in V. And that should give me all those shells. And then I think same thing again. Which actually to do this properly, I'm gonna need to move this. Oh wait. From the rest of it. So let's see, I want to select from one edge and the bottom all the way to the other hold down shift to use my marquee inverse that unfold and that means that should be pretty straight which it looks like it so that's probably good and what's that leave me with just the spout I think yeah I got this up here So, I'll hit unfold, and clearly I missed an edge when cutting my seam, because this doesn't look right at all. Where's this edge? There it is. Yeah, I missed that little guy. Cut. UV shell. Unfold. There we go. That don't look bad. But let's try this. Let's get that. Orient it. Let's try straightening this edge. I don't know if this is a good move, but I'm going to go with it and say it is. So let's grab all that top edge of UVs. Straighten shell. And then I'll inverse my selection. Missed a couple. And unfold. Okay, and that's most likely pretty good. Let's see how that looks. Tilted, of course, but hmm. I think it's hard to tell if it's the just the angle or if I actually do have a wiggle here. Maybe I'll try hitting optimize. Uh, it might just be the angle. Ay 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 ay. What do you tell me? Uh, you tell me it's mostly white, so I'm gonna say I'm good. <sighs> All right, UV, UV shell. And where are you? You're over here. 
That's hurting my eyes. Unfold. I also missed an edge here. Edge. Cut. Unfold. That's more what I want to see. And... I'll do the same thing I've been doing to this UV shell. So, let's see. Let's orient it. UV. Grab all of... Grab all of these guys, I think. Straighten shell. Inverse selection. Unfold. Certainly is a weird pattern, but it's straight. Which, you know what else I'll do? I'll grab these UVs. Straighten them. And what that should do is it should allow this to be somewhat seamless at the edge here. Are these not? Uh, no, they could use some aligning. Let's see. Now I'll grab all of these UVs in the middle, unfold, and I'm a little distorted on the bottom, but I think this is better for me, so I'll roll with it. So that should be my entire teapot, UV unwrapped. So I might clean up this layout later, but for now I'll just hit layout. See what that gives me. Which that should make my texel density nice and consistent. Which I want to see. And I'm a little bit odd. Maybe for my outer shell, I want to try and line that up so it could potentially. You know, I don't think it's going to be important that it can loop with the way that that polka dot texture is. So I'll forget about it for now, and then if it is a problem when I go to texture, then I'll uh, rethink some things. But since I have room to give myself a little bit of space here in my layout, I will do so. So that when I paint things in Photoshop, if I choose to do so, which I will actually, then I have a little bit of room for error. Okay. Okay, so that's the pot. So moving along to the handle. UV, I'll do planner from X like I've been doing so that I can start anew from scratch. First things first, I'm definitely gonna wanna lop off both of these forks. Cut, and then all my other seams I'll put 
on the bottom for the most part. Because that's definitely a good place to hide them. And... I think I'll crawl up the side like this. Hit cut. And then... So this should unfold pretty smoothly while still hiding my seams well enough. Cut. And I think... That should be all I need to do. So now I should be able to grab this shell and it should unfold pretty neatly. Unfold. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to cut out these screw holes. These are not gonna unfold neatly. So, cut, 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 okay. Now it should unfold neatly. There we go. That's basically what I want. Let's hit orient on that guy. Uh, yeah. So these I can unfold. Unfold into neat little strips. And I can hit like stack and orient. I don't know how I wanted that orient. Eh, it doesn't matter. Forget about it. I don't need to worry about you. Uh, nobody's going to see you anyway because I'm going to have screws. Alright, now for this. I definitely want to cut a seam right down the middle of the bottom because that's less likely to be seen. So there isn't quite a place to hide it, but that should be the place to hide it. Let's see what I get. This is likely going to be too long to be workable. It's going to be long and weird. You know what? That ain't bad, though. Let's see. For all of this... Layout. What? That's going to be a little too small, I think. If I were to make this 45 degrees, rotate 45. If I angle this guy like this, make it the hypotenuse layout. That's bigger. which should mean better. Maybe I can work with this. I'll just leave it as one strip then. I'll call it less seams the better, but this might not work out. I might end up like cutting this in certain pieces uh, like, like this later. 
doing cuts like that because then I can get all of these and I can lay them out and they can be much bigger. And that might be much better. You know what? I'll make it like this. I'll leave it like this. Uh, I'll call that functional. Might change it later, but I'll call that functional for now. Okay, forget the handle now. Done with the handle. Whistle base. How'd this end up in here? This shouldn't be in there. It should be out here. As always, starting from scratch. And let's start placing all my seams. Which you can see when I did my uh, rule of three edges on this, I was uh, quite sloppy. Uh, didn't really keep things very clean here, but uh, I don't really have time to go back and make it better if I'm gonna be honest. I would like to make it better, don't have time to. Cut both of these. Uh, and let's see, best way to Let's see, I definitely want to hide the seams in here, along the top. That's a no-brainer. Not that anybody's ever really going to be seeing here anyway. Cut. I maybe wanted to make this whole piece differently, in retrospect. <sighs> but it seemed like this would function at the time. Which it does look like the piece that I modeled it after. So, I can't argue with that, but this definitely isn't optimal. Um, where to put these seams, dang it. Let's see, I know I'm going to have to put one at the edge here in order for this to function. So, let's see, I'll cut... seems there and all these edges they not okay is it placing it it's weird should be turning white like these other ones uh, forget about it for now okay let's see where else am I going to want seams though probably along this bottom back edge would be good cut and then I'm probably going to want seams at either end here of this piece. Uh, 
Okay. Just make sure I got the right edge. Cut. And then, you know what? I definitely want to go all the way along here. I just want to cut out this whole bottom inner part. Cut. Which I think I can just double click and that will give me the exact selection I want. Yeah. Cut. Okay. So that should be good. Or you know what? Ugh. Undo those last two. Because I think what would be good instead is if I had the this entire like inner archway section. as its own piece and I could just keep that as all one shell cut uh, oh, I forgot to undo this cut uh, sew that back together uh, what else ought be Edge, I think probably I think this would probably be good. Part of this archway here. I could be wrong about this. I have a bad feeling about this one. But I think this will be good. Cut this out. Let's start unfolding some of these. Oh, wait, this is still. Let me cut this bottom edge. Cut. Cut. Okay. This should be separate. Where, where is this not cut? Oh, missing one tiny edge. Cut. Still missing. Oh, same thing on the other side. Cut. And did I miss those same edges here? No, I didn't. Okay. So now this should be separate. So now this inner piece. Oh, not manifold geometry. You don't say. Mesh. Let's clean up. seems for me for some reason. So... What's the problem here? I have a duplicate face here or something? Oh, I'm not connected. Hmm. 
And just on the one side too, that's weird. Something must have went wrong when I mirrored something. Let me see, I, I should be able to just do this. Should be able to just select this problem area, mesh, and then my merge threshold should be pretty small at the moment. Yeah, apply. That should fix all of that. Yeah, and now I can sew these. This should be proper now. Uh, unfold. And that's exactly what I was looking to get. Okay. And now this should also be able to unfold pretty cleanly. That's a, ooh, that's a weird shape. But it's probably more or less correct. Orient. Yeah, I'm getting some consistent squares on there. That's the weirdest thing, though. Uh, okay, here, let's try this. Let's try and straighten this shell like this. Yeah, let's just try hitting unfold. Nah, that's not going to function. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. For one way or another, this is the way. That doesn't make any sense to me because this should be symmetrical because I mirrored it. But. That being said, uh, let me see. I don't think I'm using this. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Nothing? Okay. I don't think I'm using this tool right, but. Let's try doing that. Two straighten UVs and what is this edge here?
This is strange. Um, hmm. <sighs> Let's just do this. Let's just get my whole shell and hit unfold along and U. And does that fix everything? It does fix everything. Okay, I was bugging for nothing. Uh, how am I looking? Uh, reasonably undistorted. Okay, so I was worried for no reason. Okay, good to know. Uh, anyway, back to this. So how to further unfold so I have the inside I'm going to have my two rings I just gotta get these which the easiest way to do this I think would just be to get this whole extrusion Cut this off. Same thing on the other side. Should be good. And and let's see, I think I'll just grab the top and bottom corners like this. Cut. Same thing on the other side. Cut. And let's see, that's a bit wacky, but I think that should function. So that ought mean that both of these, I can just grab them. Unfo Whoa! This one is fine. Okay, that one unfolds just fine. This one, I missed something. Where's this? Oh, I missed this edge. Cut. And now, unfold. And unfold. And this is... Yeah, that's over there. Unfold. And this is part of this. And oh, I forgot to get these two inner parts. Unfold. There they go. I'll just grab all that. And again, might clean this up later, but I'll just hit layout. Oh, I should definitely orient these at least. Orient, 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 dun 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 Grab that, Orient that, Orient this one the same way. Orient the same way. 
myself a little bit of room to work on all these pieces. Since I have room to spare. Okay. But leaving the room, because I could make, I could include more uh, textile density into these, but I'm just trying to keep or uh, more like resolution into these, but I'm just trying to keep my textile density consistent. Moving along. Uh, no more whistle base. I suppose I'm not too far from being done here. Again, let's get a clean slate. This time I'll do it from Z. And this is pretty straightforward. Cut here at the top. Cut here at this corner. seam down the middle, somewhere on the bottom, and I'll just cut a seam either of these two bottom parts here just so that my top can the two ends can unfold rather smoothly this guy fold along V clearly I missed a cut cut now unfold along V. These two shells project from X and fold and same thing with these two bottoms. Project from X and fold. And I could do like stack and orient. I could do the same thing over here. Stack and orient. And. Alright. Play it all out. And I'll just keep this for now. Let's see. Get myself a little room to work again. I don't need them to be touching. Good. <sighs> now moving along. did all the screws because I did them before I duplicated them so that all of them would have the same UVs. And let's see here. I think 
I'm going to want to do. So I think I'll cut a seam all the way around here. Cut. And then I'll kind of hide it best I can. In the back. Cut. I'll just cut off this entire bottom part. Apparently I should have paid a little bit more attention to my beveling metering, but it's okay. Still certainly functional. And right, I think that's the whole bit. the whole bit. Okay. And then right. get this guy in the corner. I'll cut my hole in the center here. And I think this edge whoop, cut I think this edge here would be less likely to be seen, but also I'll cut my seam there. And now I can start unfolding. Oop, but first. I'll also have to. Cut these. And hide the seam at this top edge. So actually what I should do too is circularize these all again. So I have to make sure that these line up with the rod. Also, for that matter, so I have lined up with the rod more or less. I'm 
just sort of realign things here. And that should be good, but I actually also still need to bevel these. It's not going to deform right when I smooth it. But that should be good. Okay. I think I'm good to go here. All my various seams cut, you know, I'm just going to grab all of my pieces, hit unfold, and see what I get. Okay. See, I'm missing a couple things. For one, I need to recut these inner seams, turns out, that are towards the top. Okay. going on here and then there's a similar thing so and so alrighty This edge is bonding these two. Oh, weird. That's what happened there. Cut. Then all of this, I don't need it all. So I'm going to hit Control Delete and get rid of that. I don't know what caused that. It's very strange. Very strange indeed. Unfold, and that looks more correct. And how does this look? That looks pretty good. I can't complain about that. darn decent there. And that looks consistent. How about this? I say it's weirdly small, but ultimately good. And these still need to be unfolded. And now, stack and orient. This guy I'll orient. Which I think I want it oriented this way. I 
guess it wants to be all weird with, but. Let's lay this out. Very strange. oriented the same way so actually when I'll orient it the other way because that'll make it easier to put the whistle while you work on my texture which I should change this back to 90 Good enough. Let's see, what's left? Shouldn't be too much. Because I think it might just be the lid. Because I did the rod. Oh, I didn't do the tension piece or the whistle. It shouldn't be too hard, though. UV, planner, Z-axis, apply. Let's see, this guy, I'll just cut at the corners. and I'll have it unfold from here. Cut, and then both of these corners here, cut. And is that it? I think that might be everything. Unfold. Yeah, that'll do her. Orient, normalize. V. There we go. Um, and that should be good. And now the whistle. Um, start with this in Y. And this ain't too bad neither. This I'll just cut here. here this will do here and here and I think that may be all the cuts that need to be made easy shell Unfold, layout, that's pretty clean to me, okay, so that's that, so that's all of these pieces done, and 
applied the whistle, did the handle, did the teapot, did the whistle base. Yeah, all that's left is the lid. F key, focus. All right, once again, this time I'll project from Y. And here we go. I could use, I could use an edge at the top and the bottom of this. I think it should already, yeah, put one more right here. Make sure that doesn't lose its shape too much. I'll do the same thing here. Classic rule of three edges. All right. Edge. I'll hide the seam here, which will give me a, which when I do this, it gives me a little bit of distortion, but at the cost of hiding the seam, I don't think it's a, Too bad of a trade-off, especially because the distortion should be pretty much unnoticeable. And then let me grab the middlemost edge and I think I'll make my cut there. I'll grab the cornermost edge in here, cut that. Then cut this in the corner in here. Cut out these loops on the U. Otherwise, that'll stop me from unfolding properly. Same thing on this side. F to focus, cut. Gonna have to cut these at the top to unfold this properly. Same thing on the other side. Cut. this unfold like so this might be a little bit funky oh I never made a vertical cut anywhere I'm gonna need to do that I guess I'll just pick this one my center line or maybe You know what, actually, let's do this. UV, cylindrical, and fold along V. And that should give me a pretty happening result. Yeah, that's excellent. <sighs> Normalize. And bottom face, unfold. This guy in the middle. Unfold. And then I just have this. Which again, I'll do. Which this I maybe could have left it connected to another shell, but 
think this is more of the way. Grab all this. Lay out. Let's do your stack. Stack them back to the thing. You know what I'll do? Just stack them, drag one out. That doesn't look proper. Is it though? No, I don't think I unfolded these yet. These three and these two unfold. No, I hadn't. Stack and orient. Orient. Stack. Bring it over. And I'll get these a little bit out of the corner. And again, I might go back and clean this up a little bit. But, you know what, this... I went normalized in you, for sure. And... That should be good. Okay. Good enough for now, anyway. And... Finally, the lid handle final piece. I'll do it from X. And now no more no more checkerboard. Okay, so at the top I'll just get all of this. Cut it. And then for the bottom grab it here. Cut it, grab it in here, cut it, grab it at the corner, cut it, grab any old vertical edge in here, cut it, and this guy, UV, cylindrical, Fold along V. Grab all these guys. Unfold. Clearly missed an edge somewhere. Yeah, missed a tiny guy. This, presumably? Cut. Unfold. Yep, that was it. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. We're all good. On this, I should orient first. Orient shell. I think I want it the other way. What the heck is this that I'm looking at? Oh, that's that little circle, eh? eh. Ah, there it is. Okay. Whatever. Here we go. Grab all this. Layout. And that looks good. And again, I might clean this up later. But for now, just give myself a little room to paint, a little room to work when I paint, and that'll be good. That's everything. Okay. 
Now the last thing to do, which I don't think I'm going to do right now, would be to perhaps go through and make sure that the texel density is, com is consistent between all of my objects, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I think I'll just make sure it's consistent from object to object which I made sure it ought be, and then I'll call that good enough. So, yeah, that's good enough. It's everything, UV unwrapped. And, alrighty then. That should be good. File, save. And, thank you. Uh, I hope that helps. If uh, you were uh, like that, wasn't necessarily the best way to UV unwrap all those pieces. Like I said, there's lots of different ways to UV unwrap all those pieces. But uh, if you were stuck for thinking of just any sort of baseline or just anything to attempt, then that should help you out there. Uh, goodbye.